Hey there, all you lovely people watching my videos. What is up? It's Connor here, bringing you some more Modern Warfare 2. And today we're playing TDM on a state or team deathmatch, if you get mad when people say TDM. <clears throat> and today I am using the MP5 again, and this time it is silenced. And I'd like to jump right in this gameplay, because as you see in the beginning, I go, I rush up the left side over here, which is what I do about 50% of the time. I normally look at my other teammates and if my teammates are going to the right like in this game I think all five of the rest of my teammates went to the right then I'll rush the left but if it's about split even where about three of my teammates go left and two to the right or three go to the right and two to the left then I might consider going up to the right and I run through the building and run all the way around to that glass house and come up behind them and normally you can get a few that are in the building but this game this game, they're actually really... I don't think any of their guys were ever in the building. I know I didn't kill any of them in there. I, they were mostly just chilling out back where the C flag would be in domination. Or over on the... I don't, I don't really know what it's called. Wherever that place like in front of the house is back in the back with the boathouse back there. Killed a few of them up there as you saw in the beginning. But I normally don't really like this map because... I think it's just mostly teams just take over the house and then you have to run in there go on a massacre and never finish with that great of a score it feels like because chopper gunners normally don't do good here but of course I have to use the pave low just so I can use my gun mostly but I don't know I just don't really like I think this map's not really that balanced everybody tries to go into the house and take it over it's just a big gun war over there but I got lucky this game, and they didn't all go in the house, so my Pavlo and Harriers could get me some kills and s stuff like that. So, yeah, it was a pretty good game. I think I went 38-6 and six this game, which I keep getting a lot of deaths in my last two videos. I mean, a 6 KD is not that bad. Um, I'm pretty sure most people watching this, that'd be all right with them, but that was all, that's all right with me, too. Don't get me wrong, but it's... It's a little bit harder trying to get a higher KD in this just because you don't have your chopper where in your chopper that's like a minute of you just killing people. Normally, the most you can die is once where now when my pavel is in the air, I end up dying. I can end up dying like three times and three or four times during it. and So it doesn't turn out too well. And this game was actually this is a little better than my other one because I don't seem to go on that dying streak of deaths just constantly at the end i keep it pretty solid throughout just a death here and there and i end up getting another kill streak there at the end but it was a pretty fun game i think i'll talk about the mp5 my thoughts on the mp5 are like i think it's a great great close range gun if you start shooting at any distance whatsoever no matter even if it's only about probably 30 or 40 feet it's pretty hard to control the gun you gotta burst fire it like no other I mean short super short burst almost like you would be when you shoot an FAL or something and it's not very good long range but I think short range is probably my favorite short range gun I also do like the P90 just because the hip firing on the P90 is a hoss and the hip firing on this MP5 is actually not too bad I think I hit fire a couple people in this game the some machine guns besides the UMP I've never really had luck with hip firing but the other ones they're pretty good at hip firing it's pretty fun to do and it's a great idea if you're close and you just and you get they're pretty much taking up your entire uh hip fire marker thingies <laughs> then, <coughs> then it's a good idea to hit fire because you'll definitely mow them down and so oh my goodness forget what i was gonna say i had something very important to tell you guys interesting well, as you know, you have to get 35 kills in this game. Check out my other video for all the rules and whatnot that we're doing here. Make sure you go to Pwn Stars' Facebook page so you can vote on the guns you want us to use. And let me know what you guys think of this. Should I continue doing this? I have a lot of fun doing it. It's fun to try out different guns, even though I've only tried out one so far. But it's, I don't know, I really do like this. It's not as frustrating as getting a nuke would be. Because gang nukes, when they they don't shoot down the pavel as much as they would shoot down a chopper gunner, it seems like, or maybe that's just the game type I'm playing. I've been trying hard to find a game type where they don't shoot down every single thing that you put up in the air. And this team deathmatch seems to be all right. I normally play mercenary team deathmatch just so I don't get a whole team of like players against me. Or in mercenary or in normal team deathmatch, it seems like they call it a lot more UAVs. 
which I cannot stand when people call out UAVs, especially because with a gun like the MP5, your best bet is to get behind them, and you want to shoot them in the butt. I mean, you always want to shoot people in the butt, but especially with the MP5. Like with the ACR, you're fine to not camp, but, you know, I mean, you don't have to run over to their side. You can pick them off. It's more of a long-range gun. That's pretty much what it should be used for. You don't want to run up there and try to be killing people from five or six feet away. That's not the point. So normally with this gun, though, I mean, if you get any range, you're not going to get them. So it's best to get as close as possible. Stay in tight, tight quarters. You try to run. If you pay attention, I run from cover to cover all the time. Unless I have to, sometimes I have to make a sprint across open distance, but I try to stay, even if it's not obvious, I try to, instead of running down the middle, I'll try to run in between trees, behind the trucks, and just different stuff like that, to always keep you hidden so you can get as close as possible before you get the kill. I think Scavenger kind of ruins this gun, in my opinion, especially in Team Deathmatch, because... In my personal opinion, I think you should always use Marathon and Team Deathmatch because the spawns switch so much. It's hard to get from spawn to spawn. And you never really want to just stay with your teammates. That will not get you the most kills. I guarantee it. I always try to stay as far away from my teammates as are from where my teammates are because that's where you'll get them spawning more. You'll get, you can get up behind them, get way, way, way more kills because 35 kills in Team Deathmatch is not the hardest thing in the world. But it's definitely not the easiest. Everybody on your team, I don't know, your team can average like, what, six kills probably, the rest of them? Yeah, about, no, more about eight. Which, if you get one kid on your team that ends up getting like 20 or something, can completely ruin your game. So you gotta get your kills quickly, get your kill streaks in the air, and you just gotta go to work. So that's why I think Marathon's always the best. You can run from spawn to spawn. But since this is the gun of the week with the MP5, figured scavenger is what we should put on it just because you want to see mp5 kills not me running around and having to pick up an arc gun on the ground which i don't really like doing that anyways but because you never know what gun you're going to get when you get stuck with some f2000 thermal sight gun on a nine kill streak or something it's not necessarily what you want to happen but it works out well as I said, I think Marathon's definitely a must. And I also think Ninja. I love Ninja. Ninja you will see on almost every single one of my classes. Always use Ninja. I also have Turtle Beaches, which I actually have left. I have not used my Turtle Beaches in like four days probably because I've been getting videos, quite a few videos to put up. So I've been just leaving them on my computer so I can commentate on them like this. But especially with Turtle Beaches, they help out a lot, lot, lot with Ninja. So you're not listening to yourself. And it's definitely better when you're running around trying to get behind their team. If you can just stop and listen for a second, you can tell where their teammates are to know. And you don't have to worry about your own footsteps interfering with uh, the other people that are running around and stuff. And I think this gun, I don't know, people say slide a hand for rushing in their opinion because nobody likes to sit back for a second and a half and wait for their gun to reload. But I'd agree with that in different game types such as like domination maybe. I don't really like sleight of hand in Team Deathmatch, except for on the SCAR. For some reason, the SCAR is more of one of those medium range guns. So I always try to run about halfway from our side to their side. And sometimes you can get caught up in a three to five person firefight with just you and you need to reload quickly. So that's a gun I've really only, only gun I've ever used besides a sniper with sleight of hand on it. I just think Marathon's way better in Team Deathmatch to get behind him. And I, I used to use the MP5 back when I played Search a lot for rushing with Marathon and Lightweight. That was, gun was a hoss. There are some sweet rushes. If I play it, I don't know, I could play it. If any of you guys want Search and Strike, I could probably play it a little more. I still remember the rushes I did and stuff. I was a non-stop rusher in Search, and that was my gun of choice. It was just loads of fun to use. Shot incredibly fast. So thanks for watching, guys. This video is almost over. I go 38 and 6. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page or my for more information about what's going on and stuff. I'll keep you updated on my missions trip and stuff. And don't forget to bump my videos at Respawn Army so I can get some more exposure. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. See you when I see you. Adios.